So here's the thing about Ned Kelly. A rebellious Australian outlaw in the 1800s, many see him as the equivalent of Robin Hood, while others regard him nothing short of a villainous criminal. Born in Victoria in 1854, Kelly was raised in poverty, working as a bush ranger with a lot of police persecution due to his Irish heritage. Arrested in 1870 for stealing horses, he spent three years in prison. After his release, he then fled to the bush in 1878 with his brother and two friends after being charged with attempted murder of a police officer at his family home. The Kelly gang is tracked down by four police officers to be taken into custody on October 1878 at Stringybark Creek near Mansfield, Victoria. Turning into a heated conflict, Ned Kelly and his gang killed three officers with one escaping to report the killings. Over the next few months, the gang proceeded to rob a few banks in Eurora and Geraldry, dressing up as cops for the ladder where Kelly left a written explanation and justification of his conduct, now known as the Cameron or Geraldry Letter. In June 1880, Ned and his gang failed an attempt to ambush and derail a police train. A shootout between the police and Kelly gang at Glen Rowan Inn ensued with the gang wearing their famous homemade steel armour. Ned Kelly was arrested while all members of his gang died in the shootout. On November 11, 1880, Ned Kelly famously states, such is life, as his final words as he's hanged for his crime.